What's going on friends and fellow folks of YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at Retro Rec Room for the month of March. We're going to unbox this thing and take a look at the games that Retro Rec Room is going to put in front of me this month. So let's kick back, let's relax, and let's see what Retro Rec Room has in store for me. All that here, coming up next. Alright guys, so I've got part of my Sega Genesis collection out here as my nice little backdrop for this unboxing. Um, if this is your first time watching one of these Retro Rec Room videos, you might want to start with video number one for me. The reason why you might want to start there is because I cover more about this box in particular and talk about you know the benefits, the pros, the cons uh, to this monthly subscription box. If not, if you want to just watch this video, that's fine with me. Just know that you might miss something that is uh, kind of important to this subscription service because this one is very different compared to other subscription services. But all right, guys. That's enough talking. Without further ado, let's get into this box this month. As always, we have our Retro Rec Room subscription box instructions. Basically, they send the games to you. You get to play the games until the 25th, and if you want to send them back on the 25th, you can. If you don't like the game, you can send them back on the 25th. If you do like the game and you want to keep it, you get a subscriber's discount on the game, which I think is kind of cool. You get an opportunity to play the game and check it out before you buy. So try before you buy. That's always cool with me. Let's get that out of the way, and let's start with this game right here. NES game, I can tell. Um, I always love how they package these things up. Like I always say, man, it's like it's like Christmas. You get to open the game up, tear into it, and see what you get. So let's see here. We have Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Uh, normal price would be $14, and subscriber's price is $9.99. Uh, cart's in great condition. I don't know a lot about the Romance of the Three Kingdoms series. I, I'm pretty sure it came out on more than one platform, but this is the NES version right here, so very cool um, to be checking that out. I'm going to look forward to popping that into the old NES and checking out what this game has to offer. So Romance of the Three Kingdoms. All right, I'm going to set the box off to the side here so that you can see the games on display, and you can also see the cool Genesis collection in the backdrop here. That's not all my Genesis games. I just wanted to, uh, you know, give give you a little background, something to look at while I'm uh, opening these bad boys up. Another NES game, and that is Akari 3, Akari Warriors 3, The Rescue. Now, this one is cool. Um, there's a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game. I, I know a little bit about the Akari Warriors series. The first one in the series is not that great. The second one is um, a little bit better. And the third one, I think, is the best of them. Um, I'm interested to see at what the price is on this one. Because I know it goes, usually, um, you know, I've seen it there for like $25, $30, maybe more. I'm not sure. Uh, but Akari Warriors 3 The Rescue, let's see what the price is. Uh, normal price is $24. And subscriber's price is $18.99. Developed by SNK, and SNK makes a lot of good arcade games. They're basically known as an arcade um, developer, but they ported a lot of their games over to the um, NES. I know I have Guerrilla War on the NES, and that's an SNK developed game that is really, really kind of similar to the Akari Warrior series. One of the better things about these games are that they are couch co-op games. They're awesome couch co-op games, so I'm going to be looking forward to sitting back and playing this game and checking it out. Cart's in really nice shape, as always with Retro Rec Room. They're always sending out nice nice carts, and I, I appreciate that. And no loose disc games or anything like that. That's always cool with me. Next up, I'm guessing this is a Super Nintendo game. Let's open it up. Tear into it now. Tear into it. All right. This is, okay, lock on for the Super Nintendo this is, um, I'm guessing, kind of like a, a flight game. It might be a shoot 'em up. I don't know anything about this game for the Super Nintendo. In fact, I'm not very well versed in the Super Nintendo library. Um, obviously, 
Genesis games are, are my thing. And that's the other cool thing about this monthly subscription box is I don't know a whole lot about the Super Nintendo, but um, the Super Nintendo games that they've been sending me have been really, really cool. I might be a little bit more picky about what I add to my Super Nintendo library just due to space issues, but um, the cool thing about this is I kind of get to try the game out and really see if I like it, really see if it's going to be something that I come back to. So let's see here. Normal price is $10 and subscriber's price is $6.99. Which is cool with me. Um, I think I think that's a pretty good deal. It might be one that I'm going to take a look at, but I'm going to have to try it out and see what I think of it. Next up, we've got a gaming case. Uh, it's probably going to either be a PlayStation 2 game. Um, more than likely, I, I'm guessing this is going to be a GameCube game. Uh, I, I know I signed up for a GameCube games with Retro Rec Room, so let's see here. GameCube. Hoping GameCube. We'll see. You never know. GameCube, yep. Pac-Man Fever, Pac-Man Fever, cool, um, you know, don't know a lot about this game, normal price is $9, and subscribers only price is $5.99 for this game, um, yeah, I'm a fan of the Pac-Man games, a lot of the arcade games are kind of similar, and this one, you know, I'm guessing it's more of a 3D style Pac-Man, um, that's very different from the arcade games. As always, Pac-Man games are developed by Namco, and uh, Namco is a, a really, really well-respected Japanese developer. Let's see if this thing is complete, too. That, that would be the, um, the ticket here. Yes, and it is complete. It has the manual. It also has the, uh, I guess, the warranty card. Uh, no, the Nintendo GameCube uh, precautions booklet. Um, these came with like all the Nintendo GameCube games, uh, which is kind of interesting to me because um, if you're going for like a complete GameCube set, um, you know, you kind of have to look out for an extra thing. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I like to complete all of my games or at least try to complete all my games, but I'm not really a hardcore GameCube collector. So, um, you know, it, it wouldn't matter to me if, if that was missing. But uh, Pac-Man Fever on the Nintendo GameCube. All right, guys, I got one more game to unbox here. And again, I think this is going to be a GameCube game. I can kind of tell. Yeah, this is going to be another GameCube game. So let's, uh, let's unbox this thing. Let's unwrap it and see what we get. Let's see here. PN3, product number. Product number three, developed by Capcom. I don't know anything about this. Um, it is a Nintendo GameCube exclusive, which is, uh, that just caught my eye right there. You know, I do like to collect my console exclusive games, so this game is, you know, more of a rare title on the Nintendo GameCube. I'm gonna have to try it out. I don't, like I said, I don't know anything about this game, and that's the biggest benefit that I've found with Retro Rec Room is they send me some games that I don't know anything about, and the cool thing is I get to test it out before I uh, decide whether I want it. So let's check the price on this bad boy. And price is normal price is $25. Subscribers price is $18.99. So some of the bullet points say it's futuristic sci-fi environment. It's gonna be like a 3D game, I'm guessing. Um, battle robots, machines, mega weapons, transforming enemies, and uh, learn powerful attacks and combos. Combos are always a nice added feature there. So uh, PN3 for the Nintendo GameCube, a game that I'm, I'm kind of excited to really test out and uh, show the gameplay footage of. All right, everyone, so with all that out of the way, um, I got five games this month. I've got five games I can look at and test and see what I, I like. And real quick, uh, one thing that I do want to mention is that Retro Rec Room, the boxes that they send you, you do need to send them back. So inside is my prepaid mailer as well as the label that will go on this. Um, you do need to put the box back in uh, the package. Um, I think they charge you for it if you don't send the box back. Which is, you know, it, it can be a little bit unfortunate. You don't really get to keep the boxes. But, um, you know, that that's not a, a deal breaker for me. It's not something that's going to make or break my decision on whether this, this box is good or not. I think it's just a way for Retro Rec Room to save a little bit of money so they don't have to continuously keep ordering these boxes. So if you do pick this up, if you do decide to go with Retro Rec Room, know that you do need to ship the box back to them as well. All right, guys, and with all that said, uh, this has been a pretty good month once again from Retro Rec Room. I'm really enjoying what they've been doing, what their company's been doing, especially now that I'm really hunting down all these Sega 
Genesis games. I just don't have the shelf space for, for games that um, I don't really want to add, those shovelware titles for consoles. So uh, the cool thing about Retro Rec Room is I get to pick the games that I want. I get to choose the games. I get to try them out firsthand before I decide whether I like them or not. So that is obviously a plus about Retro Rec Room. And it's something that you might want to consider before signing up for a monthly subscription service like this. If you'd like more information about Retro Rec Room and where you can get this, I'll leave a link in the description down below of where you can get yourself signed up for this monthly subscription box. If you enjoyed the video content, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I know I have a really, really weird thumb, um, so subscribe for weird thumbs and awesome games. As always guys, enjoy your gaming and I hope you have a wonderful day.